Okay, your first technique is called a washi impi in Japanese, or a round elbow if you want, or we'll just call it an elbow strike. What we're doing is your palm should be facing into your arm when you hit. There are times you hit like this, hitting with the bone here. We're doing it this way so that we're protecting both of those bones in the forearm uh, with the musculature there on the arm. There's also something I've got to consider here on the leg. So I'm going to take the camera, put it down here, so you can see what's going on with my legs as I throw the technique. But you see it's because of here, just over here. And also not like this, I'm throwing my whole body into it. My whole body goes into it. Everything's rotating. But the legs are doing something important too. Let's take a look at those legs right now. So you see on this foot right here, when I throw the elbow with this arm here, you'll see that I, I'm rotating. I'm rotating on the ball of foot to enable me to get that additional power into there as I throw that elbow. When I get done with the elbow, I need to set this one back down and then I can rotate to the other side. Always replant the foot before going to the other side. Okay, the next technique is a reverse elbow. And so what you're going to do, exact same setup, palm facing in towards the arm. What you're going to come over here is setting up over here and pulling across this way, hitting with this part of the arm here into the target. Same as with the other one, we have to be concerned with what's going on down here. Notice I'm not just coming here like this. The whole body is popping up into it right there. Let's take a look at what the lower body is doing when we do this technique here. All right, so the footwork for this one right here. As I'm set up, you see I'm lowering my body down. I'm actually lowering my body down as I set it up. See, I'm twisting. It's like I'm coiling a spring. So I coil that spring there, and then I pop up and uncoil, and same thing. So this time it's the opposite leg. So now if I'm going to do my right leg here, my left arm here. I'm setting up the coil here, getting it coming up here. And as I pop up and uncoil, you get that little rotation on that foot right there as you do that one. Next technique is a rising elbow. Now this one, we're actually going to hit with the blade side or the bone side of the arm. You can do it with the meat side of the arm, just like we do with the other two elbows. But on this one here, we're going to pop up here alongside that. And notice my hand is open this time. The other times we've been making a fist. So this one had a fist, the reverse one had a fist. This one we're going to do open hand. We're doing an elbow strike and practicing the concept of a defense protecting our head and everything with this same motion. So this same motion is defense and attack. And a lot of things in martial arts are that way, where we're doing a single motion. That single motion could be attack, it could be defense, it could be a grapple. It could be a lot of different things. Anyhow, let's talk about the kinetic chain on how to generate the power into that one right there. Okay, to generate the power for this one, what you're going to do is you're going to pop the body up. So there's going to be a little bit of rotation in the hip, a little bit of pop up. So when I go here and go through it, I pop up like that. So you see a rotation and pop up with it. Now, of course, the actual fight, you don't want to pull this back here unless you've got to hold something, you're going to pull that part in. So if I have both my guard up, same thing. I want to get that little rotation in there as I go through to get that up and the pop of the body up. And even if I'm in a forward stance, same thing as I go to throw it, there's going to be a little pop up. I'm not going to stay down. I'm going to pop the whole body up into it in order to generate the power. The next technique is a dropping elbow. The elbow can drop a whole bunch of different ways. Now, when I was studying Wing Chun, one of my Wing Chun teachers did a dropping elbow like this. And I was like, oh my goodness, because that's the funny bone right there. So when I do Wing Chun, I don't do that one. But I'll show people I was shown that, but I don't recommend doing what I learned in Wing Chun here. I'm going to do that for a dropping elbow in Wing Chun. Because that's the funny bone. You don't want to hit the funny bone. Doesn't feel good. So on this one here, the elbow sets up. You're going to drop it down. Sets up. Drop it down. Now, we're doing fist closed. But it doesn't matter if the hand's open. Hand open, fist closed, okay. But while we're practicing our basics, we're going to do it with the fist closed. Hitting with the elbow like this again. Palm facing towards. Palm, palms facing away doesn't matter much before the basics palm facing towards. Now, let's talk about the kinetic chain for that one. Now, the kinetic chain for this one involves doing a squat, basically. So if I'm in a neutral stance, I'm going to come up tall. So if I'm in a shiko dot here, I'm actually going to come up. I'm going to rise up, and I'm going to sink everything down into that elbow. So it's not just the drop. 
the whole body drops into it. If I'm in a forward stance, so in other words, one foot forward, one foot back, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to come up and I'm going to sink into a lunge. I'm going to do a lunge with it. Heel's going to come off, up off the ground, lunge into it. Lead hand, same thing. I'm going to come up. I'm going to go into a lunge there. Another way to do it would be just to turn that foot out, go into a shikudash 45, and drop in the shikudash, but keep the elbow to the front as you're doing your shikudash to, or to the uh, 45 degrees. All right, the last elbow in the set, I like to call a popping elbow, or you can call it an uppercut elbow. doesn't really matter what you call it. Point is, palm's going to be facing in towards the arm again. You're going to set it up here, and you're just going to pop up like this. So this part of the arm here is coming up, popping. It's real useful in grappling situations. We like when <clears throat> pop them in the chin or the face or something like that while you're grappling. Um, so kinetic chain on that one here when you set it up. You're going to be here. You're just going to pop up. The whole body going to pop up with it again. Same thing here. Pop up. If you're in a forward stance, you're going to be down. You're going to, your whole body is going to spring up as you throw this elbow right here. So as a final word, we want to talk about the kinetic chain some more. Do not go fast in the beginning. I know as a beginner, you want to go as fast as possible. But if you go as fast as possible, your kinetic chain will not develop properly. You need to sit there and go slow, practicing your kinetic chain. Speed later. Like when you get to green belt and all that, then I'm going to be looking at speed. But up until green belt, I want to see things going slow. I want to see that you are properly developing the proper sequence in your kinetic chain. So when you're doing these elbows, you know, just to go, oh, fast I can, fast I can. Don't. Please don't do that. Sit there, go nice and slow, practice the proper kinetic chain into those elbows. When you're practicing your punches, same thing, practice proper kinetic chain into everything that you're doing. So that whenever you do go fast, all the sequences for the proper kinetic chain are already present in your technique and you'll hit a whole lot harder at speed if you start your training going slow.